We got some unfortunate news for Villanova men's basketball. Uh, their point guard, Colin Gillespie, is expected to miss the rest of the season after he tore an MCL with six minutes and 38 seconds left in the first half. Um, I don't think it was a con. No, it was yeah, it was not in contact. He had, he landed awkwardly and immediately grabbed his left leg, which obviously shows that something's wrong with you. Um, and it's no surprise that he's missing the rest of the season. I mean, you know, when you do something like that, that's that's a big deal. Um, this was written by Jeff Bur uh, Burzello, who was an ESPN staff writer. So you go first, Maya. What do you think of Villanova uh, not having Colin Gillespie for the rest of the season? Well, before I say anything, I just want to wish uh, Gillespie the best of luck. You know, obviously a torn MCL, that's a pretty serious injury. Um, I wish him a, I wish him a speedy recovery. But, yeah, it really is unfortunate for Gillespie. It's very unfortunate for Villanova. You know, obviously – a lot sometimes in sports you end up you, you you end up like kind of underlooking like the moment and because you never think that like I'm gonna get hurt I'm gonna I'm gonna tear an ACL right here I'm gonna tear an MCL right here and then all of a sudden you feel something and it happens and it takes you by surprise you know but at the time you're not surprised you're kind of you're all you are is really in pain you know because you never really expected it to happen at that time you know some simple stuff that you do such as jumping such as running like you never expect you never expect yourself to go through that type of injury until it actually happens you understand what i'm saying like for instance like if you like if you end up getting like you know somebody ends up like landing on your leg most like a like a big dude is landing on your leg most likely you're gonna break in your leg if it comes but the non-contact injuries i feel like are one of the worst to be honest with you and the reason why i say that is because again, you just don't expect it to happen. You know, you like, you, you be running, you could be running one second and then the next second, the, tw the MCL just down on the ground, screaming in pain. Right. It's such a very unexpected injury, you know, and I wish Gillespie the best of luck. I really do. I hope he fully recovers from this. You know, it's really unfortunate that's happening in his collegiate career. Cause now people are going to question. Well, now, now people are probably going to question, is he, is he going to be injury prone? Is it going to be the same? And that, and you know what? It's up. It's up to him again. He's gonna have to. Unfortunately, it happened, but he's gonna have to put in the work in order to become one hundred percent. Uh, become one hundred percent again, and hopefully he'll he'll end up becoming one hundred percent again. You know, and I wish Villanova the best of luck too. Uh, personally, personally, I'm not Gillespie, so I couldn't. So like, I couldn't tell you. You know, that's a, that's this is his choice. Personally, if I go to, through this type of injury. I'm um, taking the whole year, obviously going through rehab and like recovering. And then next year I'm staying at Villanova one more year to kind of prove that like, you know, I still got it because after getting hurt, there's only 60, there's only 60 spots that you can go, you know, and with that torn MCL, you end up start hate to break it, but then you start dropping spots, but it's up to Gillespie to prove that he's going to, he can be the same player coming back as he was before the injury. So if I'm Gillespie, I'm staying another year at Villanova just to prove that I still have game. I still got the same game I did before I was hurt. And hopefully that would be enough to impress NBA scouts and he can end up uh, getting drafted. So with that being said, I wish Gillespie the best of luck. Right, as do I. I wish Colin Gillespie the best of luck too. Um, I tore I tore my MCL in a similar way, so I, I feel his pain 100%. I do have a quote from Coach uh, Jay Wright, though, and I'll read it to you guys. Uh, and I quote, we are all devastated for Colin. He is the heart and soul of our program. We know we can't replace him. We all just want to step up and play that so that we can honor him. Colin is mentally tough and resilient as any player we've had we've had here. I know he will get through this and will make a positive for his make it a positive for his career. Oh yeah, man. Let me go back to what you said about um staying at Villanova for a year. I, I absolutely agree. That's something that I would do, especially if I'm a senior and I just got I just came off an injury like that. And it's not even just, and it's not even just um your draft stock decreasing. That's not that's not what I'm more worried about. What I'm more worried about when it comes to you injuring yourself and then you just go to the next level is that you're coming off of an injury going on a whole nother level of basketball. You know what I mean? How do you know that you're gonna be the same player? Like you, you know what I mean? I that's a that's a risk. In my, you know, my recommendation. I mean, you don't want to take it, but it's whatever. If I'm in that boot. I'm taking I'm taking another year in college because not only am I staying on the same level, but I have time to recover and prove, like you said, that I am the player that I once was. And and I know that's something the MLB does when you get injured before you go back up to the uh go, go back up to the majors. There's like a you can go down in the minor leagues, the triple A, 
and then, you know, play a few games. Yeah, because AAA is not as intense as the MLB is, obviously. It's minor leagues. So you get to play a few games, and then if you're ready, you go up to the, you know, it's something similar to that. But the NBA doesn't have that. So that's why I would stay there. And, you know, if I'm ready, then I'll go. You know what I mean? That's, that, that would be my recommendation, especially to all you guys out there that are athletes and get injured, especially ones that are in college or in high school. Just you got to you got to be easy on it. You know, I know you I know we're all anxious to make it to the next level. But if we get hurt, you got to we got to recover the right way. You don't recover the right way. That's not that's not going to look good or not look good. It's not going to be good for you anyway. Your body is just going to shut down and yeah, not no good. No bueno. But with that being said, you know, I do wish Colin Gillespie the best of luck um, with his with his injury. I, I hope he makes a speedy recovery and I wish him the best of luck for his future.